the other night against Oklahoma City, the third quarter was a big part of the Nets' undoing. Game turned, thunder rolled with a win. Tonight, a completely different story. The third quarter is when the Nets seized control against Denver, and we just felt a shift. Nets looked rejuvenated in the second half, and that helped carry them to the finish line. What a great deal of energy, the show of pride, and just the connectivity between this group. And I know those are words that Steve Nash uses often, but it was evident in the play. I think Kevin Durant is will steal Bruce Brown's line to Michael uh, to Michael Grady. That man's different, and he is, and he was extraordinary. But a part of him taking over, too, was filling his teammates with confidence, yeah. with the way in which he was facilitating. Everyone had some timely baskets or timely plays that contributed to the effort. And I think there was just so much resolve in fighting back from that original 18-point deficit, but doing it in a manner where they cleaned up some of the, the yeah. areas that they were having issues with. They started to get some stops when needed. And more than anything, it was just such a display on the offensive end and poise in their closing it out. When you have elite players in this league, you feel confident down the stretch of games that you're going to win close ball games. That had that kind of feel tonight. The Nets were locked in a tight one against Denver, and the Nuggets have excellent players, including Nikola Jokic, one of the most unique talents in the NBA. But the Nets have Kevin Durant. And I don't know if you're going to find a much better closer. There might be somebody on the same level, but there's nobody that's going to be considered better than KD in those situations. He took over when necessary. And when you watched Kevin Durant, and especially down those last five, four or five minutes of the game to close things out, it was special to watch how he was reading the defense, reading the situation, picking his spots, understanding how this Denver defense was starting to play him, attack him, where the double teams were coming from. I mean, so much of what we watch with him and how he plays is, of course, just a talent and a pouring of effort into his craft and the skills that he has, but it's the intelligence it's the savviness um, and it's the way in which he's able to survey the floor and understand the best way to attack and exploit a defense and he did that and he also to your point facilitated so much of the energy for his teammates and how they were performing at that end as well second half of the back-to-back -back against the new york knicks first matchup of the season for the Nets and Knicks. Well, Tom Thibodeau has this group playing hard, and I know they've dropped off a little bit in the last couple yep. of games from their start, but what the one thing they, they do well is play defense, and, and that's the area that they hang their hat on, um, and they've got players that on any given night can go off on the offensive end, but what you will get is a level of energy and a level of fight that has been consistent from this Knicks team throughout the course of the early season. After some shaky moments in the first half, the Nets bounce back in a big way Strong second-half effort to defeat the Nuggets here in Brooklyn.